Hey, welcome. I am in my new eBay hub space, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do a quick walkthrough. Friday morning, November 27th, uh, day after Thanksgiving. Hope Hopefully everybody had a good time yesterday and I uh, was staying safe. Three orders, we'll get right to that and then I got to get out of here and start the process of moving all my inventory and everything over to my parents' uh, condo basement. First up is this set of a pair of AT&T Stadium uh, Dallas Cowboys. I don't know, I guess they're tall plastic drinking cups. Uh, these have been sitting for a while. I, I think I want to say I paid about a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five for these. Uh, I got these out of Savers, I believe, and. I had them on a 20% off special plus a promoted listing. So these sold for $6.39 plus shipping. All right, then we have this uh, Xbox 360 uh, slim console. It's just the console, nothing else, no power cables. Uh, it's the four gigabyte version and i i want to say i paid about 20 bucks for this and this sold for 44.99 plus shipping and then the last thing is this uh killer trivia friday 13th and nightmare on elm street um trivia game i got this at savers uh, right around right around halloween i was a little late i listed it like the week before halloween so if anybody wanted to buy it for halloween it was kind of late to get it to them but uh, I think I paid like eight bucks for this. It looked like the stuff on the inside was kind of new, never used. But this ended up selling for $49.99 plus shipping. It is Saturday morning, November 28th. Been going crazy back and forth getting the move done. If you notice, there's a lot of stuff all over the place in here. But that's good because I'm starting to move everything over to my new location. The painting is all done over there. I got paint all over me. Um, I had nine orders. I'm going to show you those and then I got to get right back to work. First up is this uh, Gene Harlow 100th Anniversary Collection DVD set. Got this at Savers. I believe I paid right around, I want to say, and actually, actually I got this at uh, Salvation Army. I paid four bucks for it. And this sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And we got this Boston Red Sox clocked uh, scoreboard kind of thing here. I paid $15 bucks at Salvation Army. Uh, Goodwill. I'm all messed up today. Goodwill. And this ended up selling for $49.99 plus shipping. And we got the Hershey's Milk Chocolate little pillow here. Got this at Goodwill. I think I paid like $1.99 or so. And this sold for $16.99 plus shipping. We have Mario. Uh, no, this is Pac-Man Party for the Wii. I uh, probably paid about $1.50 for this. And this sold for $10.49 free shipping. Panasonic uh, old school cassette. I guess it's a portable cassette recorder. Slimline. I got this at, I believe I got this at Salvation. No, this was at Goodwill. I think I paid like four or five bucks. And this sold for $27.99 plus shipping. We got Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Paid around $1.50 for this. And this sold for $20.99 plus shipping. We got this Dunkin' Donuts Whirly Travel Mug. I got this at Savers for about two bucks. And this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. We got Toy Story Obstacles and Adventures Board Game. Uh, this I got at savers for around four or five bucks and it sold for 32.99 plus shipping and the last thing should be over here i started cleaning out this shelf here but this uh playstation 3 with a couple of games couple of controllers i think i paid right around 35 for this and it sold for 62.99 plus shipping so sunday morning november 29th uh, i got three orders to show you the move is going well so two of the orders i'm going to just show you through the ebay app because they're at the new place and then the other one is here but take another glance mostly seeing boxes there's orders that need to go out that shelving unit is gone and today all the packing stuff is going to go as well as my packing table and the printer and label maker and all that stuff so let's show you those orders and i gotta get back to work first thing i sold i hope you can see this is this uh Vintage 1970s Tonka 22 inch car carrier trailer. I got this on that Tonka buy. It ended up selling for $13.99 plus shipping. But the guy is local, so I'm going to be meeting him uh, not far from here today to just hand it off to him. He already paid. I think I paid, you know, after everything, probably paid a couple of bucks for this. So not a huge profit but it's still something I'm, I'm already way past what i paid for the uh the entire tonka lot all right next up is this 47 brand indiana pacers hickory sweatshirt i got this at an estate sale i'm trying to get the glare out of off this camera i got this at an estate sale uh, a few months ago i think i paid like 50 cents for it and this ended up selling for 12.59 plus shipping 
And then the last thing is this Sylvania Combo VCR DVD player. Got this at a Sabres. Probably paid about five or six bucks for this. I had this. I ran a big uh, Black Friday weekend special on Friday. I had 30% off on like 500 items in my store. This was one of them. Uh, this ended up selling for $20.99 plus shipping. It's Monday morning, November 30th. A lot of changes taking place. I had eight orders yesterday. I'm going to get to those in a bit. But first, I made the move yesterday. Everything is at the new place. You're going to see that in a little while. Uh, I'm in my studio, so I want to give you... I'm, I'm not done with it yet, but I want to give you like a, a quick glance around here as to, you know, what it looks like without all of my eBay stuff, except for my um, photography area and what they call the death pile, my death pile of stuff that isn't listed yet that I still have to get to. So let's start. So coming in, I have orders that need to go out already um, that I packaged up yesterday before I took the rest of the stuff over. As you can see, there used to be a drum set here, an electronic drum kit that's gone. That tall uh, storage unit thing is gone. Kept the uh, bookshelf in here. You got the piano, but there's a lot of space here. I'm, putting, I'm going to put a chair over there. We're going to swing around. My desk pretty much stayed the same. Now, what's different, there used to be a shelving unit here. I moved my photography area. It's really messy right now. I got to clean that off. But that's in that corner. And then I moved this big rack here. This is my death pile um, of stuff that I have yet to list. And I have some more stuff in my house, too. Um, a bunch of board games. But I'm going to devote time for the next you know i'm in rhode island so we're kind of on a lockdown for two weeks so the stores are open but i'm going to devote more time to trying to get this pile down in the next two weeks and then i'll i'll get back out to the stores so i did that i'm not done with this area yet this is just kind of throwing stuff over here just to get out of the way i did move the electronic drum kit here and i have my my amps and stuff here guitar wall is still the same I have some empty bins. All these empty bins here are for me to bring over to the new place once I fill them with stuff from the death pile. But that's that's pretty much it. So if you kind of pan around the room, still cleaning, still cleaning, but it's good to have a studio back. This worked really well for a little while with the eBay stuff once it got going. But now that it's, and I got like 700 items up, up on eBay and it, it just became between the storage unit, my workshop downstairs, which is also empty, not empty, but empty of eBay stuff. And then in here, it was just, it was becoming too overwhelming. So I'm saving $80 a month from the storage unit. And then now I don't have to kind of go between three different places to do everything. One thing that happened yesterday, I got everything over to... My new place, um, I took my old Mac Mini to use. I didn't. I was not going to take my good computer. That's my music computer. So I took the old Mac Mini over there. It was on when it was here at the house. Shut it down, brought it over there, plugged it in, no power. So I ended up going to the Apple store last night, dropped it off, and uh, they're supposed to call me today to see what the damage is. I really don't think I, if it's anything over like 50 to 75 bucks, like maybe even a hundred. I don't think I'm going to get it fixed. Um, there's nothing on it that I really need. I was just going to use it at the new place to do the orders. I'm going to have to bring my really old Mac notebook over there today. And hopefully uh, my printer and label printer works. Uh, we'll try that today. But if that doesn't happen, then I may end up buying a new like Mac MacBook Air or something like that. Just to, to keep over there or bring back and forth if I want. But So what we're going to do next, the next thing you're going to see is I'm not going to... 7.15 in the morning, I'm probably not going over there until about 8.30 or so. So the next thing you see is going to be a tour of the new space. And then I'm going to show you the orders. And then I got to get to my day and get back here and do some more cleaning. But that's it. I'm pretty excited about it. I think it's going to make things a lot easier and uh, more efficient for me. So I just have to change my schedule a little bit. So let's get on to the tour. All right, welcome. I am in my new ebay hub space whatever you want to call it we're going to do a quick walkthrough and then i'm going to show you the orders plenty of boxes these got to get moved so we're going to start over here it's basically the same setup i had but everything's in one spot now i arranged all my bins based on letters now before they were kind of all over the place it'd be a lot easier to find these things so we got the a's we got the b's we got the c's we got the d's then I also have all clothes that I am selling hanging up here. And I also have bins here that don't fit on the shelves and some um, loose stuff too. And I got the small drawers that are labeled. 
still have to go through those bins and take the stuff out of that and that box and as we move through this is the shipping section I got boxes here uh, I got my shipping table with the scale and everything I need here I hung the bubble wrap I have my little cart here that has my computer I had brought my computer it's not working they want too much money to fix it so I took my old laptop I'm trying to get that set up right now as far as the uh, printers go we have more shipping stuff here peanuts and boxes and bubble wrap and if you just turn around we got loose items up here this rack is mainly electronics and it kind of goes far back you got two la two layers of it here one layer here we got some down the bottom i have more at my house and my studio to list so i have plenty of space here and we'll move over to we start with e f and g and h for bins everything is here i have baseball bats and golf clubs in the corner here and uh some more loose stuff right here there's video game systems and if we turn around more of these drawers all labeled everything in them if they're missing a drawer that's probably at my studio empty so i can fill them and bring them here i'm pretty happy with this uh setup so far i'm gonna try doing these orders first time so bright lights in here um let me show you what i got as far as orders go all right so bear with me the first order is going to be bb2 which is this is a transformers siege war cybertron figure pretty sure i got this at salvation army for a few bucks and it ended up selling for uh, 9.75 plus shipping all right next we have electronics i'm gonna find this now right here is this harman Kardon uh dual cassette deck the dc 520 got this at sabers probably paid about eight nine bucks for it and it sold for 59.99 plus shipping Okay, then we have another VCR unit here. Oh, it might actually be down here. Yep, it's this right here, the Panasonic PB9400 forehead VCR. This is another Savers buy, probably five, six bucks, and it sold for $27.99 plus shipping. Okay, then we're going over to A6, it looks like. A6 right here. Got it. This is Board Game Acquire. This was a Salvation Army buy. I think it was like $2.99. And this sold for $24.49 plus shipping. All right. And then we should have a loose cup here. Yep. We got this McDonald's. Uh, good morning, McDonald's. Vintage mugs. Really small. I think I paid around a dollar for that. And it sold for $6.29 plus shipping. Then we're going over up to E1 up there. Okay. E1 should be a video game let's see where is it here it is ncaa football 13 not 14. pick this up for maybe five bucks and it sold for 20.99 plus shipping and then we're gonna go to e7 another video game let's see if i can get my hand in here this is it yep super mario galaxy for the wii uh, I probably paid about $1.50 for this, and this sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Then we're going to go to I-5, which should be right about here. I-5, yep. This is a rare Starbucks, I think it's stainless steel inside, uh, from 2015, lime green, 24-ounce tumbler, no straw. I got this at Savers, I think I paid about 3 bucks for it maybe three change and it sold for $32.99 plus shipping. And then back to E, we're going to E6. Now I, I made a mistake, I have E6 here and E6 there, but I'm pretty sure it's in this one. Get this out. Yep, these are Rydell skates, ice skates, and it's getting cold, so perfect timing on these. Got these at Savers for about 
five or six bucks and it sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And there was one other order back at my studio. It's in one of the uh, bins I was working on. So it's this Red Sox uh, vintage batting souvenir helmet. Uh, I paid like a dollar for it. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. I'm going to have to go pick it up. All right, so I'm going to try to get these things packed. I got my regular printer working. I'm just hoping I can get the label printer working on this old computer. I'm installing the drivers now. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to take a quick ride back. It's less than four miles away to get that batting helmet. But get out of this light. It's crazy. So hopefully you guys like this new uh, setup here. I'm liking it so far. Still got some stuff to do around here, but should make things a lot more efficient for me. And uh, this is where you'll be seeing the videos from for the most part. Hey, it's Tuesday morning, December 1st. I got five orders. I'm at the new place. I had some water down here last night. I had to come back, but all's good. No damage to anything. And we're going to show you those four, five orders now. There's actually six, but I'm still winning on payment on one of them. First up is this set of four Oakland Raiders holographic drinking cups from Capital Cups. Got this at Savers. And now this was this was actually at Goodwill. And I think I paid around $1.50 for these. And they sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Then next we got to find DD6. DD. I don't know where DD is yet. Okay, this was one of the things I haven't been able to unpack yet. Here it is, uh, City Service Fleet Garbage Pickup. I got this a while ago. I don't even remember where I got this, but I think I might have paid two, three dollars for this. I think it was a Savers, and it ended up selling for $29.99 plus shipping. Everything works on it, it just doesn't go forward. Then we're moving over to AA4, which I thought I saw over here. Nope, it's on the other side. Right here, AA4. Here it is. It's a set of three Hamco Bears with Christmas Tree Present Rocking Horse. Got this back when I got the storage unit, so I'll probably have 25 cents into it, and it sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Okay, now we're going to CC5. CC5. Should be over here. Okay, here it is. It is the Hallmark Oversize Snoopy uh, Charlie Brown Peanuts mug. Got this at a Sabres for a couple of bucks and it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Okay, the last thing is in G6. G6, I can see it right here. It's this Randix ATD36 uh, audio cassette cabinet. It holds 36 cassettes. It's pretty much brand new. It's open box, so I put it as open box new. It uh, looks like it's never been used. And I got this at a Savers, I believe, for around four bucks, I want to say. And this sold for $24.99 plus shipping. It is Thursday, December 3rd. Four orders. I skipped a day. I don't know if you noticed or not. I had zero orders yesterday, and I think I know why. eBay uh, started the process of switching me over to managed payments. And so I had to go set up a bank account. Um, no more PayPal going forward once they get this completely set up. I noticed that after I did that and registered everything through eBay, all of a sudden orders started to come back in. So I don't know if they paused my account, but the four orders, I'm going to show you those get right to it first thing we need ff3 this has been sitting for a while actually in emptying this i can take this with me we have this set of five planet of the apes collection vhs this i got from the storage unit so it's probably 50 cents into this and it sold for 7.99 plus shipping okay next up let's see if we can find this easily Yep, I think it's right here. I'll bring this over to the table. It's the 100th anniversary of the teddy bear, Teddy Roosevelt, you can see. I want to say this was from, I think this was from a yard sale, and I think I paid, I want to say I paid like maybe five bucks for this, uh, brand new, and this ended up selling for $21.99 plus shipping. And then the next two are right here together. We got Sequence, States and Capitals, board game. This came from Goodwill, I paid three bucks for it and it ended up selling for $34.99 plus shipping. And then we also have this Grey's Anatomy trivia board game. This was from Savers, I believe, and I think I paid right around three or $4 for it. And this also sold for $34.99 plus shipping. So I'm gonna get these packed up and then I actually do have to head to Savers today to um, mainly to uh, donate a big piece of furniture, but I'm going to stop in the store and see if I can find anything to buy. Uh, I did want to say 
for those of you keeping track the wrist i am having surgery on the 29th of december this month i got a partial tear i'm just going to get it fixed because i don't want it to linger uh, so around that time my ebay store will be put on vacation mode so i don't have to worry about getting out and shipping these things it's going to be tough to do with one hand i'm not sure how long the store is going to be closed down I will probably close it down the day before so I don't have any orders coming in and then needing to ship out the day of the surgery. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And so since today is Thursday, that is the end of this video. Hope you like the new space. You'll see, you just saw it earlier. Let me know what you think. And as always, like, su subscribe, share, all that stuff. Tell your friends and get on eBay and buy some Christmas gifts because like I keep saying, money is tight right now. With a lot of people and you can find some really cool stuff not just from me but from all the ebay sellers out there so support and keep this thing going we'll see you on the next one thanks